continue our conversation now about the trouble with schools. Now, we've railed against teachers and teachers' unions who put their own interests ahead of American school kids. We've also blasted the Biden-Harris administration and Democrats for their fealty to these same teachers' unions and their complete abdication of the scientific method or anything that resembles it, especially when it comes to the pandemic and these school lockdowns. And that brings us to the topic of school choice. Now, most Democrats are scared to death of giving parents and students more choices when it comes to their education. And the best evidence of that is the less new push to expand public education. Joe Biden talked about that during his address this week, and they say they want to spend hundreds of billions of dollars to add two more years to our K through 12 public education system. And they what they really want to do, though, is have the government raising your kids and your grandkids. They don't trust America or parents to do this anymore. And their answer is no choice. Now, someone in Biden's world, though, does seem to understand that school choice might be one of the most important political issues of our time. And that's because if school choice were to become more of a thing, so-called academic elites from the Ivy League and these prestigious prep schools and private schools all the way down to your local school district would be forced to give up control of institutions and centers of power and profit that they've controlled for generations. And that's why they want you to believe that if you do support school choice, you are hurting public schools, especially black and brown children in blighted urban communities when it is actually the complete opposite. And if you don't support the government paying for BLM's critical race theory in public schools, well, you are pure evil. And if you don't burn your copy of To Kill a Mockingbird and replace it with How to Be an Anti-Racist, well, you're really subhuman, right? In the taxpayer-funded Loudoun County, Virginia School District, they are pushing critical race theory, and it is tearing that community and others like it apart. And some of the, the country's most prestigious and most progressive private schools are also pushing this stuff the hardest as well. That is forcing on children racial division and discrimination disguised as, quote, diversity, equity, and inclusion. There's so much bad stuff happening in America's schools today that I could spend hours talking about it. But I don't want to do that because it's Friday and I want to stay positive. And I want to introduce you to a few of the good guys who are still out there. Some decent Democrats, yes, and some good school teachers who are refusing to buy into the socialist takeover we're seeing in America's public schools. First, I want to talk about this guy, Nebraska State Senator Justin Wayne. Senator Wayne recently took a stand and broke with his Democratic colleagues on a school choice bill. Take a listen to what he had to say in this legislative hearing. The only people who are opposing school choice today are the same people who have choice. And many of them exercise that choice. Here's my offer. I will vote to kill this bill if you send your kids to one of the kids schools in my district that we're waiting to turn around. Now, he had previously opposed this bill, but now he supports it. And it's called the Opportunity Scholarships Act in Nebraska. And what it would have done would have created tax credits for donations to private school scholarship funds. The bill failed to pass, though, because of a Democrat-led filibuster in the State House. And I guess, you know, filibusters are okay, right, in this case, when you're trying to stop school choice. Anyway, how about some love for the teachers out there still willing to stand up to the dominant group think in today's schools. I want to introduce you to guys like this one, Jonathan Capel. He's going uh, to join us next week on the program. He is literally teaching school right now, so we're waiting until his next available day off to interview him. He's a teacher in Louisiana at the St. Uh, Tammany Parish School District, Tammany Parish School District, sorry, uh, where critical race theory and gender fluidity are becoming part of the elementary school curriculum. And at a recent school board meeting here, Mr. Keppel pulled out his phone and played a video that he was supposed to play for the kids in his class. Take a look. Black people are nearly six times more likely than whites to be imprisoned. And black men are killed by police at more than twice the rate of white men. All right, so that's the first video. They're, they're telling our kids, they're telling our black children that they are oppressed by white people and that it's in the system so they don't have a chance and that our good policemen are, are more apt to shoot a black man or a black woman which is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. You saw him motion there. He was pointing to a black police officer who was actually in the room. And it's not just ridiculous. It's also provably false 
But as long as we're focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, who cares about the facts, right? Who cares about a definitive study from Harvard University, of all places, that did prove, in fact, when it comes to police shootings, there are, quote, no racial differences in either the raw data or when contextual factors are taken into account. But Mr. Capel didn't stop with his lesson on the dangers of critical race theory and the hate being pushed by BLM. He also had the audacity, how dare he, call out his school district for teaching gender dysmorphia. And some individuals prefer they as a pronoun. Like meet or bot, they are my best friend. We're, we got kids that can't read and write, and then we're going to teach them incorrect grammar. I mean, it's ridiculous, okay? Who, who gave permission to talk about this? We could, there's two genders. The parents, are, they're, they're already pulling their kids out of public school. They're doing homeschool options. They're going online. It's going to increase as this liberal ideology comes into our schools. This isn't a political indoctrination camp, okay? It's public education. We want to teach education, not left-wing ideas that aren't backed up by facts or science. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.